Crisis tonight, a spike in violent crime just as the year is coming to an end, taking a closer look at a surge in violence just after the holidays. Plus, newly uncovered maintenance issues in the Department of Public Works slowing its ability to clean up trash throughout the city. And another key vehicle shortage this time within the city fire department putting lives at risk. Tonight, Baltimore City fire officials sounding the alarm over the shortage of trucks, setting them up for what they say could be a disaster. Good evening, everybody. I'm Mary Bubala. And I'm Maxine Stryker. The problem so bad they had to rely on help from Anne Arundel County fire trucks to battle a fire in the city. While well, the fire union says the problem is nothing new, they say it's getting worse and they need a plan in place soon before it's too late. We know it's being worked on, but we're past the point of we're working on it. President of the Baltimore City Firefighters Union, Rich Langford, says the department's fleet is in crisis. We've been operating for months now, short trucks. We've been bouncing between anywhere from short three trucks to six trucks. The day after Christmas, Langford says short six trucks due to maintenance and other issues, they had to rely on outside help to fight a fire in Penn North. Trucks from Anne Arundel County driving into the city to assist. They were well into the heart of the city because we had a two alarm fire going on in one part of the city and we had to rely on them to come help us out in the center of the city. Langford says on a daily basis, the department has 17 ladder trucks and being down just one makes a huge difference. Six trucks, he says, is devastating. But it only takes one or two fires for us to be completely depleted of trucks. The problem has been going on for years, but Langford says has now reached a tipping point. Good afternoon. We're going to go ahead and get started. It's why earlier this month, he and Josh Fannin, president of the Fire Officers Union, wrote a letter to the mayor and city council urging them to call a hearing. I, I called this this hearing today um, as this issue was brought to my attention uh, by a number of folks who were really, really worried about um, the condition of our vehicles and the fleet. Uh, and particularly how it affects our operations. The acting chief blaming supply chain problems, a lack of funds, and unfilled mechanic jobs for the issue. It just seems there needs to be a clear plan put in place. We're trying to create that plan with that timeline so that we could give it to you. We also have other, other issues that we're dealing with as far as staffing. He promised an estimated timeline in a week. We're a month into this and they haven't got anything yet. So hopefully, you know, they can figure something out. As they wait it out, Langford says it's a continued safety issue for not just the firefighters, but the citizens of Baltimore. We're setting ourselves up for a disaster, and we none of us want to see what happened last January happen again. Well, we did reach out to the fire department today to see if they have a timeline, but we did not hear back.